Well, GM announced uh, it was going to create or keep 7,000 jobs. Um, 5,000 would be new white collar jobs, mainly that would be coming to Michigan. This has all been in the works for several years now. Uh, there'll be about 1,500 factory jobs, although some of those will be taken by laid off workers, and it's, it's hard to tell uh, exactly how many new jobs would be created. Um, but they concede the timing of this. Uh, has a lot to do with the president-elect who has made uh, creation of and retention of U.S. factory jobs a key part of his campaign and of his uh, platform as he approaches inauguration. Uh, Mary Barra is on uh, Trump's Council of Economic Advisors, a, a group of CEOs uh, that, that are kind of informally meeting to advise him on uh, the economy. But she has said uh, that they're not going to change plans to build the, the cruise hatchback, the small car uh, in Mexico. Trump has criticized GM for that on Twitter. Uh, Barra says she's not going to change that. They're still going to build the hatch there. They build the vast majority of cruises, which are sedans, at a plant in Lordstown, Ohio. Anytime you create 5,000 white collar jobs that are going to be doing research in, in autonomous cars, electric vehicles, information technology, those are big paying jobs uh, and that's a very good announcement for the uh, economy, mainly in Michigan because most of the jobs will be coming uh, to this area. But it is good for America uh, and there's no question that uh, Donald Trump is having an impact. Uh, GM might have probably would have created these jobs anyway, but the uh, announcement got pushed uh, ahead uh, because of Trump's tweets.